The vertically opposite rule in geometry means that when two straight lines cross, they create sets of vertically opposite angles which have to be congruent. That means this 42 degree angle has to be equal in measure to this angle A over here. Because the lines are straight, this has to happen. So angle A equals 42 degrees. Remembering the rule supplementary, this straight line is a 180 degree angle. So if we do 180 minus 42, we can calculate the measure of angle B. 180 minus 42 is 138 degrees. So angle B is 138 degrees. We proved that angle A was 42 degrees using the vertically opposite rule. Then we proved that angle B was 138 degrees using the supplementary rule. Angle C is vertically opposite to angle B. So angle C must also be 138 degrees and we got that by using the vertically opposite rule. In this question, we are asked to measure only one angle, calculate the measure of all four angles, and justify our reasoning. So I'm going to start by measuring angle AQC, which is this angle right here. Angle AQC is about 134 degrees. And I got that measurement by measuring directly with the protractor, and that is my only one angle that I'm allowed to measure by the conditions of the question. Angle BQD, though, is vertically opposite to angle AQC. So therefore, angle BQD must also be 134 degrees. To justify, I use vertically opposite. That's the rule I applied. Angle CQD is here, and it must be supplementary to angle AQC. They add up to 180 degrees. 180 minus 134 is equal to 46 degrees. So I have found the measure of angle CQD, and I use the word supplementary to justify it. Finally, angle AQB is vertically opposite to angle CQD. So it is also 46 degrees. I write in its measure and I justify it by saying vertically opposite. The vertically opposite rule is very easy to apply and will happen anytime you have two straight lines that cross each other.